Hello student, welcome to the KTHM eLearning portal. I am Pratik Shinde, working as an assistant professor in Department of Zoology, KTHM College, Nasi. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the chapter Sericulture. We are going to cover the topic study of different type of silk moth and their distribution. Let's start with introduction. In previous lecture, we studied different type of silk moth in brief. There are four kind of natural silk which are commercially produced. Out of them, mulberry silk is most important and it contributes about 95% of the total world silk production. Other three kind of commercially important silk are non-mulberry silk such as Erie silk, the Tassar silk and Muga silk. Let's start with mulberry silkworm. The biological name of mulberry silkworm is Bombex mori. It is endogenous to India and China from where it has been introduced to many part of the world for the commercial purpose. The natural food in all case is the leaf of mulberry and hence they are commonly called as mulberry silkworm. The silk produced by Bombex mori is white or creamy white in color. This species is used on large scale for obtaining silk. Second is Erie silk moth. The biological name of Erie silk moth is Samia Cynthia Ricin. It is reared on castor leaves and yield Erie or Erendi silk. Then next is Muga silk moth. The biological name of Muga silk moth is Antheria asama. It is multi-oltine semi-domesticated species chiefly found in Assam. It yield Muga silk. Then the Tassar silk moth. In a Tassar silk moth, first is Indian Tassar silk moth. The biological name of Indian Tassar silk moth is Antheria mylita. This is bioltine and ill brownish tassar silk which is readily reliable. The caterpillar of Indian tassar silk moth feed on bear, sal, oak and fig trees. Then the second species of tassar silk moth is Chinese oak tassar silk moth. The biological name of Chinese oak tassar silk moth is Antheria perinae. The color of silk is pale yellow brown. Now we discuss this different type of silk moth in detail. First one is mulberry silk moth. The scientific name of mulberry silk moth is Bombex mori. Bombex mori or the mulberry silkworm is completely domesticated insect and is never found while which has been exploited for over 4000 years. The silkworm was domesticated from the wild silk moth Bombex mandarina strain which has a ranges from northern India to northern China, Korea, Japan and the far eastern region of Russia. The larva of mulberry silk moth is Horaceous feeder. They feed on leaves of mulberry trees. That's why they commonly known as mulberry silkworm. The adult moth of Bombex mori is creamy white in color. The cocoon of Bombex mori various shape, size, weight and color ranges from white to yellow. Bombex mori produce cocoons with continuous silk filament and therefore can be industrially reeled to the produce raw silk. The silkworm are classified into different breed are as follow univoltine, bioltine and multivoltine depending upon the number of generation produced in a year. For example, 
Univoltine means one breed of offspring per year or single generation produced in a year because they undergo dipole condition during winter season. Then the bivoltine means two generations produced in a year. Then the multivoltine means many generation produced in a year. The univoltine species culture mainly in Jammu and Kashmir. Bivoltine and multivoltine species rear mainly in West Bengal, Karnataka due to the optimum temperature condition in warm climate. The mulberry silkworm may further classify as and identify as for Japanese, Chinese, Europeans or Indian origin based on geographical distribution of the univoltine, bivoltine and multivoltine depending upon the number of generation produced in a year under the natural condition. In India, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu and Jammu and Kashmir states account for 92% of total mulberry raw silk produced of country. Let's discuss on non-mulberry silkworm. That is, Eri, Muga and the Tassar silkworm are non-mulberry silkworm. Let's start with Eri silk moth. Scientific name of Eri silk moth is Samia Santhia ricini. The word Eri is derived from the primary food plant Eri, that is castor, so it is commonly called castor silkworm. Eri silk moth is domesticated and rear on castor plant leaves. The larva of Eri silk moth is polyphagous in nature, which commonly feed on castor while Kesaru, Tapiqua, and Bar Kesaru. These are the secondary food of silkworm. Adult silk moth have brown wing color in different shades of brown and has a purple strip along the wings. Male smaller than female with brushy antenna and narrow abdomen. It produces a white or brick red silk. This is called eri silk. The silk fiber are spin by worm are not continuous and uniform in thickness. Therefrom, cocoon are not reeled properly. The eerie silk moth is multivoltine in nature having six generation per year. The food plants are mostly present in natural forest in the plain and hilly area of northeastern India which include all the northeastern state and Assam. It also found in Bihar, West Bengal and Orissa. Eerie culture is a traditional practice by tribals that why the Eri silk called as poor man's silk. Then the Tassar silkworm. The biological name of the Tassar silkworm is Antheria mylita or called Indian Tassar silkworm. The Tassar silkworm belong to the genus Antheria and they are all wild silkworm. The different species of tassar silkworm, namely Antheria perinae and Antheria papia, Antheria yamami, and Antheria mylita. The Antheria mylita, that is the Indian tassar silk moth, Antheria yamami, it is an Japanese tassar silk moth, Antheria perinae. It is an Chinese tassar silk moth. Antheria perinae feed on oak tree, while Antheria mylita, which mainly feed on Asan and Arjuna tree. The tassar silkworm is an wild species. It occupied the third position next to the mulberry and eri silkworm. China is biggest tassar silk producer of the world. 
The larva of tassar silk moth are usually green in color and mold four times. Female moth larger and yellowish brown in color while male are smaller and brick red in color but both having eye spot on their wings. They may be univoltine or bivoltine. In nature, cocoons same as per mulberry silkworm. The tassar silkworm is a wild species. Cocoon are collected by tribal people from forest and silk is obtained. Out of the total non-mulberry silk produced in India, about 400 tons is produced from Antheria mylita in Madhya Pradesh, Orissa and Bihar. Then the Muga silkworm. Scientific name of Muga silkworm is Antheria asama. The Muga silk moth also belong to the same genus of tassar worm. The Muga silkworm is wild in nature, but some species are domesticated. Antheria asama is semi-domesticated multi type silkworm which produce golden yellow silk that is high quality which is expensive. The worm feed on soma and solu trees. At the end of the larval period, when the worm are ready to spin cocoons, they crawl down the tree in search for suitable place for making cocoons. The optimum temperature for Muga silk worm grow is to 23 to 24 degrees celsius and humidity 70 percent to 85 percent female moth lays 150 to 200 eggs larva are yellowish with black marking on the body muga culture is specific to the state of assam and an integral part of tradition and culture of that state. Then, this is a short summary of different type of silk moth with their scientific name, food or host plant and their distribution. For example, the mulberry silkworm produce white or creamy color silk. The scientific name of mulberry silkworm is Bombex mori and it belongs to the family Bombacidae. The host plant of mulberry silkworm is mulberry plant. Scientific name of mulberry plant is Morus indica. And they distributed in Karnataka state, Andhra Pradesh state, Tamil Nadu and Jammu and Kashmir. Then the Indian tropical tassar silk produce cropish color silk and the scientific name of Indian tassar silkworm is Antheria mylita belong to the family Saturnidae and they feed on mainly Arjun tree. The scientific name of Arjun tree the Terminalia Arjuna and they distributed in Jharkhand, Orissa, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh. Then the Eri silkworm. The Eri silkworm produce white or brick red color silk. And the scientific name of Eri silk moth is Samia Cynthia Ricini and belong to the family Saturnidae. The host plant of Eri silkworm is castor. Scientific name of castor plant Ricinus communis and distributed in state Bihar, West Bengal, Orissa and Northern Eastern states. Then the Muga silkworm. It produces golden yellow color silk and the scientific name of Muga silk moth is Antheria asama. 
belong to the family Saturnidae. Host plant of Muga silk moth is Soma and Solu. And they distributed in Assam. These are the short summary of different type of silk moth. This photograph shows different type of silk produced from different type of silk moth. Mulberic silk is white or cream in color. Then the Indian tropical tassar silk is cropish in color. Then the Iri silk is white or brick red in color. And the Muga silk is golden yellow in color. Thank you.